there you go second day of the year and already i've got my first obstacle <laughs> how many of these people that are new year resolutionists are gonna you know fight through a day like this uh went to bed at 11 woke up at four i probably went and got up to go to the toilet probably four or five times last night my nose really blocked up i don't know if it's hay fever or what it is but it didn't allow me to nose breathe, so I had to mouth breathe. And you can imagine how many, how many uh, times I would have woken up to drink water because my mouth is just so dry. And then because of all the water that you know that goes in, it has to come out, right? Um, I set the alarm for 4:30, but I woke up at four because there was really, literally no point laying there in bed anymore. Uh, walked straight outside and uh, started dipping. And uh, I try to dip as many uh, uh, reps as possible. I got two lots of 30. Uh, so that's kind of my new max, I guess. And then I started, uh, you know, going to my squatting routine. And uh, that's it. That's all the sleeve, the rest I could get tonight. And now I'm going to work for 12 hours. I think a lot of people would continue to lay in bed there for... You know, another couple of hours, surely, wake up at 6, get ready to go to work, and start work at 7. Uh, and completely skip the training session. That's kind of like what the norm is, right? Like, it's difficult, it's not optimal conditions. You know, sleeping 5 hours, that's clearly not enough. Uh, how can you possibly be getting anything out of this if you've only slept for 4 hours and then have some par performance you're clearly not in an optimal health let's say uh you haven't recovered you haven't done anything how can you train uh, this is where you know the discussion becomes it's almost like there's no evidence for it you know everyone wants evidence for everything everyone's so scientific everybody wants to draw bloods everyone wants to see numbers and whatever but how do you measure the real winning formula, you know, the heart, you know, the mentality, you know, you, you talk about any sport, uh, the best guys have something that you can't measure, you can't measure heart, you can't measure determinations, uh, determination, you can't measure, you know, that drive, how do you measure that? Uh, I feel like these are the moments that you train whatever that is, that element, you know, if you can, you know, get up in the morning and, and put some sort of effort on a day like this, where everything is kind of against you, you know, when, when things clear up, uh, on a sunny, beautiful day, it's going to be automatic, man. It's like, it's not even a conversation. And this is what put, people don't understand. It's like, okay, sure. The physical side is not the greatest this morning, but you're training something else. You know, life is not just this physical existence. The physical is just what we see what we feel, uh, there's more to it. It's how you process stimuli. Um, and if you treat this as an obstacle, as a, you know, adversity, uh, and you attack it, and you show yourself that you can do this, you can get through something like this and still put some sort of effort in. What people don't understand is that you're actually putting money in the bank for later withdrawal. That's what it is. That's how I look at it, you know, uh, you know, when you look at David Goggins, when you look at Navy SEALs, when you look at all these professional athletes, man, you know, getting up really early in the morning, there's no way these people feel great every single day. There's just no way. Like, I refuse to accept that these people are just, you know, genetic marvels. They're always in optimal shape. No way, man. No way. You know, 82 games in a season in the NBA. <laughs> It's a lot of basketball and then the training sessions in between, the shoot-arounds, the playoffs, and then trying to get better in the off-season to come back even better in the preseason. These people are working all the time, you know, and I, I truly believe you can add something every single day. You can add something every single day. It might not be physical, but you can add to the mental. Um, and it's something that's underappreciated and people don't really understand. That is what separates the greats. I, I, I firmly believe that. Everybody can get through the sets and reps. But what are you going to do when things get tough? 
That is the question. What are you going to do then? And, and when things get tough, that's when you practice this. Um, I mean, that's how I look at it. That's what motivates me. Sometimes I, you know, I get put into these situations where it's, it sucks. It's obvious that it sucks. I'm not feeling great. You know, uh, I feel like healthy is just, you know, congested. Well, I don't know. Hey, fever I started seizing like crazy last night. Um, and just didn't get enough sleep. That's the problem. I didn't get enough sleep. You know, I feel all right. If it was, if I had, you know, a good night's sleep, that, that would be perfect. Um, but I didn't get that. So I woke up, I kind of feel like I'm drunk, you know, like hungover kind of thing. I haven't slept all that well at all. And as soon as I kind of saw the four o'clock or 4 a.m., I thought, this is it. It's the mental mental time. It's time to train the, the mind. And uh, that's how I look at it. And I encourage you guys to, you know, think about it that way as well. It's not just about the numbers. Uh, it's about the effort. You know, people talk about RPE. Rate of perceived exertion, physically. What about here? Can you pull up into the gym? Can you train when you're feeling like shit and 60% feels like it's 100%? Can you do that? <laughs> you know? Uh, it's easy. It's easy when it's, when it's you know, all going your way. But what are you going to do when it's not? That's what I. That's what I get interested in. That's when I see potential for greatness. Uh, and these opportunities, these little obstacles, these are the times you're, you're supposed to get up and about. Uh, anyway, that's how I process all this. Uh, it's going to be a hard day today. Obviously, I'm I feel flat already. Uh, <laughs> But if you think this is hard, man, just open up any history book and see what people have gone through. Just just have a read, man. Any period. Any period. You know, World War One, World War Two, Vietnam. You name it. You know, you name anything. Just have a read of what's happening in, in the third world right now. You know. Some people are not sleeping or eating. And they're thirsty. And they have to work. Have a look over the fence, man. Don't get so zoomed in into what's happening in your front yard and your backyard and think this is the world. This is not the world. There is some nasty shit happening in this world, man. Some nasty, nasty stuff. And that's what I start thinking about. Okay, this is pretty tough on my normal, my baseline. But let's put that baseline amongst all the other baselines in the world. <laughs> It's even embarrassing to start complaining. It's embarrassing. And then this, this little plight of yours, this little trouble. There's nothing to talk about. But you notice how it's all in here? I've had a really, really bad sleep. Oh, congratulations, man. If that is the hardest bit of your day, it must be really, really hard for you. <laughs> this is where it's you know a bit comedic to me it's a bit funny to me when people say you know oh you know you gotta train eight hours you, you gotta sleep eight hours to train effectively this is a waste of time it's such a shallow view of life it's such a sh you know that person that thinks that is training his mind for the optimal only optimal conditions will do my friend I don't think you see the life ahead of you and around you and I don't know if you're going to be prepared when shit hits you because it will hit you it hits everybody that's what life is it's just a one big shit fight up the hill that's what it is uh, train your mind it's the most important bit it's the only receptor sensor to this world around us this is how we process information you have to train this and you know you're not going to just train it by reading a little nice book you're going to train it by actually being in the hurt locker being uncomfortable underslept hungry training pain discomfort this is how you train your mind endurance you know how much can you endure
this is what a lot of people don't understand about what I'm trying to do here. Uh, squatting 300 kilos, yeah, it makes life easier physically. But getting up 4.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, sleepless night, not feeling the greatest, I would argue that that, those reps are more beneficial in life. Anyway, guys, I could go on and on and on. But let me get out of here, jump in the shower, get ready, go to work. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.